let's say you have known a person for two or three days and let's say there is a minor disagreement something really i guess insignificant and let's say they overreact i hate you you are making my life so bad as if you have been in their life for many years or something like that it's like they are treating you as if you are someone else do you understand what i am saying or have you ever or is there a person that have known you for a while but they have a I guess I can say a history of overreacting like getting so mad so easily so quickly and as if you are really doing bad things have these things ever happened to you before have it I find and I may not be 100% correct in this, but with me, I find many of the time when people act in that way, I think they are having problems. I believe there is something going on or something has gone on in their life. So either I think they are dealing with something now or something happened in their past where they may have difficulty in dealing with it so if that is true is the problem you i don't think so for instance let's say tom got shot on his arm and let's say I did not know that Tom got shot on his arm. So let's say I come by and say, hi, Tom, and I grab his arm real hard. How is Tom going to react to it? Let's say that wound or whatever still hurts so bad. Tom may say, ah! Why did you do that, Kevin? You know, Tom may react in a way to where I did not expect. Why? Because he has a wound, huh? He has a wound and it still hurts. Okay. I think there are people with wounds that they may be preventing from healing or whatever i believe there are people out there with emotional wounds so if you i guess interact with them they may begin reacting in a way that you may not have expected or wonder why they are acting in that type of way so you may say to me kevin what should i do with people like this i think one of the best things to do is to pray for those people fast if you are willing as well so fast and pray for those people don't be the person that goes toe to toe yelling at the person and pushing things on the ground, throwing your Kleenex and or whatever that is, puffs, throwing your beanie around and wallet and stuff like that. Th no, don't react in a violent way. With people like that, I believe one of the best things to do is to pray for them. Or what you can do as well is try to keep your distance from them. I say those people are sick. I believe those, I think people like that are sick. 
and I think they need to be healed. So if talking to them won't help, you may have to try a different option. Sometimes if things go a bit too far, I may approach that person and say that person and say to that person something like the way you are acting blah 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 you know not in a rude way not in a aggressive way but telling that person how i feel now if that person choose not to accept it that is them but at least i came to them and told them how they are acting is unacceptable in so many words so I think with people like that I don't think it is always your fault probably not your fault at all it is just that I think those people are sick which I am not trying to insult anyone or anything like that but you may have to keep your distance but pray pray for those people let me stop here god bless you